One of longest running and most bitterly contested trade disputes came to a head yesterday after the World Trade Organization, WTO, ruled that the EU illegally paid Airbus $18 billion, 13.3 billion pounds, in subsidies, paving the way for retaliatory tariffs from the U.S. U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer said, unless the EU finally takes action to stop breaking the rules and harming U.S. interests, the United States will have to move forward with countermeasures on EU products. The WTO dismissed the appeal from Airbus in its marathon spat with U.S. rival Boeing, both of which have accused each other of receiving illegal subsidies. The WTO said that the EU and four of its member states had provided $18 billion in illegal state aid to the European aircraft maker to help launch the world's largest airliner, the A380, and its new long-haul model, the A350. Read more, Airbus on track to hit earnings targets despite challenging situation Airbus currently has a case pending at the WTO accusing the US of providing illegal support for Boeing. The two companies have been locked in a cycle of appeals and rulings for 14 years. Boeing hailed the landmark ruling from the WTO and said that the decision cleared the way for tariffs against European imports to the U.S. It said that tariffs could be in place as early as 2019 and were expected to be the largest ever WTO authorization of retaliatory tariffs. Read more, relief as ruling stops massive U.S. import tariffs for Bombardier Planes Boeing Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, CEO, Dennis Muhlenberg said yesterday, today's final ruling sends a clear message, disregard for the rules and illegal subsidies is not tolerated. The commercial success of products and services should be driven by their merits and not by market-distorting actions, Airbus CEO Tom Enders hit back saying that the ruling yesterday was only half the story. The other half coming out later this year will rule strongly on Boeing's subsidies and we'll see then where the balance lies, he said. Despite Boeing's rhetoric, it is clear that their position today is straightforward healthy, they have half the market and a full order book, they have clearly not been damaged, he added. Howard Wielden, an independent aerospace analyst said that despite the fiery rhetoric he anticipated a negotiated settlement. Read more, 2E to use biofuel flights to slash carbon emissions and aircraft noise. The Airbus case against Boeing is yet to come. The endgame will be about negotiation, arbitration and hopefully, common sense, he said. Airbus shares fell by 0.85% after the WTO ruling while at the time of writing Boeing shares had climbed by nearly 2%. In January, Canadian plane maker Bombardier escaped a punishing 300% duty on sales of its C-Series aircraft in the U.S. which Boeing had said received an illegal subsidy from the U.K. and Canada. Bombardier employs thousands of workers in Northern Ireland and Prime Minister Theresa May had personally lobbied U.S. President Donald Trump over the dispute. In the end, U.S. regulators overturned the initial decision by the U.S. Department of Commerce, potentially saving thousands of U.K. jobs.